Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Hard Time 4 where I'm playing with the Black Eyes mod installed as Italy. I changed a little bit the garrison region, at least for these guys over here, uh, because for some reason that wasn't selected, so that's a bit weird. Now, I'm still... Let's see, I cannot revoke the pact before the 13th of August, 1941. And after that, I do want to start um, putting a claim on Vichy France, because they're not in the Axis, and they're likely to join the Allies. But basically, once I... I have enough units in the field in order to start going after Turkey through the 8 million bayonets national focus I yeah the, the problem is that every time I go to war after getting peace I'm gonna lose 30 stability and 20 war support because you don't get that war support back for some reason uh, and the stability either although I actually think I'm supposed to get it back well I'm not sure it just makes sense to me to get it back after the war but that does not happen so what I want to try to do is declare war on Vichy France while we're nearly done with attacking Turkey the thing is that I can't attack Syria, or at least I don't have any national focus to attack Syria. And I can't declare on Syria directly. Um, yeah, we have to go after their master, so to say, or at least cancel the non-aggression pact. So I can't proceed further. And then the problem is that I can't, for example... Um, I can't gain a conquer war goal against Iraq unless I control Damascus and Deir Azur, which I believe are, yeah, they're both in Syria. So I need to take Syria before I get to declare on Iraq anyway. Um, so that's why I need to declare on Vichy France, which might or might not be a good idea, but uh, we'll see about that. At any rate, yeah, we have low manpower. That's not something that I'm going to care about currently. Um, what I do care about is my construction. So apparently we don't need to repair anything in Greece. But I do believe that I can still raise my infrastructure in plenty of places. And I do think that it's going to be worth it to do so. do think that nearly always it's, it's good to increase increase the infrastructure in uh, in places so apparently I can also raise it here so let's do that and I can't increase it down there sure that's fine that's a lot of production again but um, increasing infrastructure doesn't take that long so with that done let's deal with the uh, first with the, the naval force you guys aren't doing anything okay good the air forces i think i've also already gotten sta on standby that's great uh, let's also just make sure that they're not having any of that selected but i am do i need to zoom in sometimes it's weird because then you you can't see the capacity and sometimes you can I don't know what triggers it that you can see it uh, out of itself. Uh, I guess you have to, to click something like that. Okay. So we can make use out of these air bases, I think, uh, at the very least. Let's send you here and I think for them the range yeah, it's a bit of an issue actually. So 
so let's send these guys over here and then they might still be able to cover some of this. The medium bombers usually have, have a bit of a longer range, so I can much easier send them to the ones further to the back and to these, for example. I want to have some serious cover over uh, Turkey because Turkey is going to be a different beast altogether from what we had before. Because they are going to be uh, quite challenging, I think. Oh, that's not what I want. I want 100 in total. If I can help it, I like my stacks very neat. Yes, there we go. And these multi rolls, they have a very small range. Hmm. I'm going to send them over here. Now, I. Ah, uh, come on. The Germans have fighters there. That's a bit of a bitch. <laughs> I should say that, but uh, yeah, that, that that sucks. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take a look at this. This is a lot. Yeah. Anyway, I need to take a look whether I can already deploy enough forces. And there are 38%, many of them. As for these, 37. So once they get to 45, I'm good to go. So I can, that probably will go relatively fast. So again, I want to look for, you know, some national focus that's gonna go real fast, although I'm afraid I won't find it. Like, uh, no, no I don't, okay. So I could go for any of these potentially for now, but it's also not, well, I could go for army training. So it goes a bit faster. Factory output will decrease. Sure, let's do army training for now. And then once the divisions are done, which will go fast enough, I can immediately uh, work on that. I'll just have to keep an eye on it. Production. There seems to be an issue with plane production, so let's take a look. Because currently, I don't want to have any more light bombers, I think. Um, I'm not making any light bombers, no. So, for the light bombers, I... Unfortunate thing, this doesn't work. Right clicking to set the limit to the current number of airplanes doesn't work. So I have to manually put it to 62, which is, is not nice, I think. And it still wants me to make light bombers. Maybe. Yeah, you. Does that remove it? It still doesn't. It does, okay. Next up, there is a light fighter. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that if I set this to say 80, the airplanes will immediately go back to the reserves, which is not what I want. I just want the game to stop telling me, hey, you need to make more light fighters. But I do want to have the notification when I'm missing another kind of production. That's that's the unfortunate thing. And like I can't both have the cake and eat it. And that's what I want. Okay, I got the research slot. So let's work on this because I want to go for weekly war support and I do need a hundred army experience. So let's just research. 
Okay, it's still telling me that I need to have close air support, multi-roll interceptor. Here we are, close air support. You still gonna complain? Yes, you are. Okay, so I have close air support somewhere else. Yep, here. And I'm missing HQ equipment too. Well, first of all, I have capital, a few capital ships that I'm building here. Um, 21st of March. Well, this is a destroyer. It will take very long for these to be finished. So there's no need to do that because there will be by the end of the war yet. So actually producing capital ships at this stage is not useful. I guess I'll work on a light cruiser then. Missing HQ equipment. Well, um, if I put into production the HQ equipment, I think we have we have enough. Actually, I think this is just very weird because, yeah, see, we have a huge number in surplus, but then the game just tells me for some reason, uh, at least for a while, like, hey, aren't I producing multi rolls? I'm not producing any multi-roll units. Hey. Multi-roll. That would be the RE200. All right, let's snoop off one of the interceptor here. So the game will get off my back. Then I need some more steel. I'm taking a huge chunk of steel from the Germans, so at least their production is helping me in that regard. That's nice. See, like I said, this is going very fast. And once I have this done, I can start working on the other national focus. So, uh... Need to switch this up. The Breda 36. I'll probably invest a little bit more in that soon enough, but not right now. Um, so I think once this is at 43, I can actually save the. Let's stop this. And I can save the days because you can save up to a maximum of 10 days. And that way. I uh, I can get it a little bit faster. The one million bayonets. Um, I asked for the points. I also want to invest more into, you know, getting war support and stability. And not through motivational speeches, I guess, but... Uh, things like war propaganda... Um, I, I'm pretty much just saving all my points just for that. Okay, I get to deploy them. Let's get those desert infantry units and the motorized division. I will switch up my uh, unit setup, but because I'm going to get a pretty big stack over here. This is just one province that my units can go through. It's a bit of an issue. Um... Because of that, I don't want to assign my units in that fashion immediately. Um, yeah, you guys are this army. There we go. And yeah, okay. So one point thirty nine. 1.42, 1.44, that's all the garrisons. 
I'll just put them in an army for now and they can work their way on Greece. So let's see how many irregular infantry I need to deploy. I can't do that with these guys yet, but let's do two first. 1.50. Okay, so this should give me enough to start working on 8 million bayonets. Mussolini believes Italy can field a giant army that will crush any opposition with numbers, which will give me force stability, aid, war support, replace Italian leadership with Italian leadership improved, 10% more recruitable population factors, that's really good, 5% better attack, 2% better defense, more planning speed, and less opposition support. Yes, excellent. Uh, that is exactly what I want these guys uh, I think both of these can manage a total of 16 divisions no 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 okay so let's set up the next attack which it will still take almost uh, yeah it will take 80 days before I get to attack so a good two and a half months at least and if we take a look at Turkey we can see that yeah, they have no planes, but they have 43 to 69 divisions. No manpower, but it means we have to win through encirclements because otherwise, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to get through. We don't have 16 of uh, 43 to 69 divisions uh, ready for the assault. Uh, yeah, so what I think is probably going to be a good idea for these is I need to have some units on the islands because I don't know what that was um, because for them they can block the enemy from getting in and that also ties up a lot of troops so what I want to do is I think uh, guys All right, they, they need to go to a port first. Um, yeah, let's have all of them go to Athens then. And then from Athens, I'll send them to the ports. I always thought that it was super silly because why can't you make the game so that if I click on a unit and click on roads, it will just try to find the nearest port and move from there. Why wouldn't it do that? That's just, I think... lazy design choices it's like well uh, it's too much work to do that I will save us uh, five employees uh, working on this for a few hours so that's uh, you know that's another 1,000 euro or dollar saved whatever uh, it feels to me like it is like that but then again I always felt kind of that way with Hearts of Iron that just kind of freeloading it. Um, well, the unfortunate thing is I cannot attack from this territory. So, What I need to do is basically I will need to have units here that will attack in this section, cut off the enemy by moving into Istanbul and cutting off these forces while also crossing the straits. And crossing straits at either Istanbul or down here is going to be extremely challenging. Um, what I need also at the very least I think is getting all of the uh, motorized units onto one control. And then I'll have regular divisions get onto this guy, onto, uh, on Garibaldi. And Italo Balbo has Panzer Leader. So I don't know whether that counts, but it's probably good for, for him then to do that. Um, I will have all his divisions go there, and then the goal, or at least the offense, I'm going to have to go for spearhead. It's going to be like this, and then to cross. 
Since I can't attack from these sides, and I also have no clue why they have so many militia there, once they've done that and moved through here, I need to have other units that will go and attack these guys. So, this army over here will have to get rid of that. And for now, I'm going to have them garrison the upper area. So, they're at least around. And there's no use having them on that side. So, uh, I'll just leave them here and then they'll join in on the attack. These guys, like I said, they will go through the islands. And I already have most of my planes uh, set and ready to go. Now, these 30 garrisons, they will be going to Greece anyway. Um, and garrison that their area. Well, all of this, uh, pretty much. But... Um, I believe... This doesn't need to be garrisoned by them. If I'm not mistaken. Because there are already garrison units here. Yeah. So I need 24. I have 30. That's okay. However, it does also mean that you know, with the addition of Turkey, I'm going to need a lot of garrison units once again. So I'm going to start getting another 20 here. And I'll set them up to be deployed. Oh, it's actually quite nice that I can deploy them at Thessaloniki, for example. Um, how is the garrison production? Yeah, I do have 20 on it. So I guess I'll just have to accept. The thing is that if I declare on Vichy France, I probably also need a lot of them for for that. But we'll see. I might increase the amount anyway. Like currently, the thing that we're missing most is the garrison equipment. Um, so that just generally is is a bit of a a problem. So it seems. Something got me to no longer lose the war support. Um, I guess it's from war. Western Desert. They don't have enough with the addition of those two units. And they even have supply depots, but they... Okay. Local naval base is an issue. I see. Okay. Six out of three. And Benghazi is three out of three. So there's not a whole lot I can do about that. This is eight out of three. So they're technically already overbuilt. Um, what I do want, though, as well... Is I want land forts to be built there too, actually. After the infrastructure is done, though. Um, so what can I do against this? I... Well, first of all, I do want to get this uh, Division Trento out of here. Because it's a non-desert unit, actually. It's... Because all of these should be having desert infantry templates. Okay. I had acclimatization. Some of these guys need that so they can actually deal with it. Okay. That's a very interesting concept. I don't know if it's in the main game, but I do like that they have that included here. I still seem to be... Yeah, okay, all-purpose. Let's go for both encryption and decryption. Again, this... If I uh, suffer... If I don't have enough of that, then the enemy will get the better of me in that regard. I need to pay attention to August as well, because then I can actually start fabricating on Vichy. And like I said, it will take some time. Most likely, I will 
Basically, I will only aim to take this part of Vichy France for the moment. Because otherwise it will take too long to actually uh, put the claim on them. And that would be a bit of a problem. So we currently don't have enough manpower, I think, to uh, try and get more troops. Yeah, being... Like, this is not too bad, but... Uh, I can't go any higher. Once I have 100, I will go for war propaganda for sure um, to get that additional war support and weekly stability. It's not that much weekly stability, um, but it's something. It helps a bit, and every little bit that helps is good. Uh, yeah, so... I... Uh, I've, I've really liked this uh, this game so far. I will go to one stability. That's just, you know, silly, you know. Uh, that's why I think this is a bit of a mistake. Because I don't think we should drop down to zero stability just because we attacked Yugoslavia, Greece, and are going to attack Turkey. It's like, why would we drop from very high stability, like plus 60 or whatever, to, to zero Despite me using all of these things to try and get that back up there. Now, I will go for Civilian Works 4 here too. Is there Civilian Works 5? Yeah, okay, great. Let's try and get this as fast as possible too, because we really need that ultimately. Okay, um, my units are here, so or at least most of them. I will actually get three of them. To move in here and three of them to because then they're here they can move through these various areas and uh, three to move to Chios and then I will also have two over at Rhodes and I will have two over at Dodecanes here yeah for now let's see how that works out then okay I have one left apparently let's send that last one to Rhodes too I can't queue up production. Um, okay, I did get rid of one of the units, but yeah, there's. I don't want to have more units in here, but I think this is the bare minimum of units that I actually need in there, and I can't really do anything about that supply. Um, I think the template for the desert units, if we take a look. Um, say that I want to edit this. They have Desert Support Company. They have a logistics detachment. I can't work on any decrease in supply. The only thing that I can do for them is get a, a general that might have the reduced logistical... Oh, no. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, I could get this guy. No, I can't because he doesn't have enough capacity. Uh, so they need to have enough capacity and have the trait that will get them lower production, uh, lower supply. And I just don't have such a unit, uh, such a general. So yeah, there's there's nothing I can do here. Uh, why did I select it? Come on, man. I don't know what what's what's wrong with me here. So now I have to reselect him. <laughs> well, I'm not at war, so that that's fine. But uh, yeah, sometimes these things work a little bit counterintuitive for me let's see this gives me breakthrough heart attack and piercing yeah sure this is actually quite good explosive teams sure that that looks to be uh excellent 
Okay, I'll just let them train because I currently have no need for that manpower unless it's going to be August. What was the exact date again? Um, 13th of August, sure. Right, so I have a huge stack of forces over in, in here. I even need to cross the river on this side, which is also going to be tough anyway. At least this is almost done, so that, that's at least nice. Okay, now that I have 100, I do want to take a war propaganda too. So this is going to be moving up a bit faster. Weekly change plus 1, and for this it's 1.9. Um, because we're getting some severe penalties from having low stability, and that's going to drop by a significant portion again by doing this. I'm going to go for Into the Black Sea. The Roman Empire held out posts around the Black Sea. It might be a stretch to take to make those claims to the League of Nations, but we can always try by force. Yeah, as if there would be any other way that uh, anybody was going to give you that territory. Obviously not. Um... Yeah, let, let's go for power projection. Here, sure. And out here, I have to wait until that's done. And then we can also do excavation. So that, that will work quite nicely as well. Fuel capacity is not needed. I mean, we're doing actually quite reasonable on oil currently. Our coffers are once again full, even after these uh, these two wars. And because we're not at war with the Allies, even though we're in the Axis, you know, we can still trade. And uh, I'm currently trading, I think, with the United States. No, I'm not even trading. Wow. Uh, <laughs> That, that's something. So my own oil production currently is so good that I can fill my coffers in peace time. I, I'm gen genuinely surprised. So there are basically two ways that I, that I can uh, approach this. I can let the Germans loose against the Russians and then you know, try to take both of them, or I can help the Germans fight the Russians, but yeah, then I might be in a bit of trouble myself. Let's start working on the C-202 interceptor, because uh, that's uh, at least one of the better Italian planes that they used during the war. Portable bridges, enables portable bridges and assault boats. All engineer companies gain river attack plus 30, movement plus 20. I see. Hmm. That's not even that bad. Let's let's work on that too. There's just so many researchers that are really good that... Uh... Okay, Italy is... Er, Iraq is getting smashed and to be fair, I kind of expect them... How do they get all these mechanized troops? Man. I kind of expect them to get smacked. I'm really happy that this goes up by 1.3 each week. That's that's really good. So, Right, we're almost ready for the war against Turkey. And you can see they have already 24 divisions out here on the border. These are a lot of troops. It seems like they cut on to my plan. <laughs> um... Yeah, that, that's going to be tricky, but if I can just at least get across the first river, I might be okay, and then just cut them off. Then I'll have trapped a huge number of enemy divisions, and then we might be able to continue past that. I'm getting a lot of manpower now from my... Uh, 5.4 actually. I wonder why that went up. Out of nothing. Hmm. 
So because of 8 million bayonets. Oh yeah, it's the recruitable population factor plus 10%. That's not reflected in here. Oh, it, it is. Italian leadership improved. Never mind. Okay. Mm. So, now that we're done with Into the Black Sea, there's not a whole lot of um, national focuses that I can do in here. So, I want to start working on some of these and some of the older ones. There's actually one that I want to start researching or doing now because that will gain me more territory if they agree. And that's request the Balearic Islands. Having proven our support for Franco's new regime, we're able to request one of the important territories we fought to defend, the Balearic Islands. We loaned to Italy for two years to strengthen our strategic hold of the Mediterranean. Now, the Balearic Rick Islands are this basically and um, that's technically the last free land grab that we can do through national focuses at least for now of course you know I need to declare war on Fichy France first before I do anything else so I'll keep an eye on that August and uh, yeah so I'm gonna declare war on them and you can see, indeed, this is again decreased by a lot. You are going to use air superiority. And now they just barely can't make it. Well, I don't have any units out here. Hmm. That's not good. And these guys need to wait until I've captured this airfield because there's no other airfield that I can, can use, really. Um, it seems like these guys also don't really have a whole lot of other airfields anywhere. At least as far as I can see, this might be their only airfield anywhere. I'm not too sure, but we need to capture it and then we have at least another forward airfield that I can use, but... Uh, Italy demands Anatolian naval bases. The 1915 Treaty of London published Turkish territory in Anatolia for Italy. I didn't even know that. I, I knew that they requested land here, like for example Yugoslavia. But I'm actually surprised that they also promised Turkish territory in Anatolia. I'm going to have to read up on that. Other treaties would take precedence, but the promises have not been forgotten by Italian leadership. Benito Mussolini has publicly said that due to the strategic importance of the Anatolian coast, the Kingdom of Italy fully intends to take what rightfully belongs to Italy. This is not Mussolini. Anyway. You guys... Start. And... I need uh, quite a few guys to attack there, and I want you guys to attack there. Even though those attacks might not necessarily go well immediately, I need to use them to push through. Let's lower, lower this. Am I actually even... Okay, yeah. So, again... I'm gonna use the subs. Um, I need to shift right click. No. I need them to do convoy raiding in these areas. So. After that, like, there's no real need for me to have na uh, air superiority in that area. Um, but I can use you as well as multi rolls. And it seems like the German airplanes moved, so that's nice. I will 
actually also use these guys to attack. Now, they probably won't be able to break through, but at least they're tying up some forces. As long as I make sure that I don't get squashed myself, it will still soak up some of the enemy's manpower, unless this is completely useless. Mm. I mean, it's not looking super great. All right, let's start working on the tech destroyers too. They don't take very long. And um, what I need to do here, I think anyway, because I don't want these guys to, to go and move around is I actually do need to have some units that are going to be stationed out here. And because otherwise, I think these guys might quickly retreat because they think there's not going to be any threat coming from there. Um, so I will need at least some forces to move out there. And then I need the rest of these guys to go in here as well for the moment. I think fighting Turkey is going to be pretty challenging. Uh, but we might be able to manage. Now, because... I don't like the fact that they have air superiority anywhere. I'm going to get... How many can I use there? 100. Okay, so I'm going to get 100 planes. Some old ones and... Such. And there we are. This is a 300. I'm going to get these guys to move out here, and then I'm going to use air interception up on this area too. Uh, oh, of course, it's going to select all of these like that. So I have to do it manually. That's fine. There we go. And once those air units arrive, they will go for air superiority in this region. Like I said, I have no clue why it is like this currently, but fine. At least uh, we're getting enough points, and I think I should again work on getting additional consumer goods factories for more weekly stability. I really need to keep getting this up here. Okay, this first attack is going well. I think these guys, they're still actually on mobilizing. Yeah, okay, okay. so we, we can actually use that. That's actually good for me. Um, because, yeah, it seems they're moving here now. That's also okay. But like I said, I need to have units up here because I need... Uh, yeah, you also need to move. I need all my motorized units at the very least. So these five infantry will try to cross the river, whereas the motorized units... They will try to reach Istanbul. And this is a bit silly because... Obviously, session attack is not going to work, and that also just means... Yeah, okay. So, I want you to only move one hex, and then these to only move two. I'm quite sad that they're already trying to retreat here, because exactly that's what I was trying to prevent. Um, but if they're just going to move forward... Right, I'll I'll see how this goes. Didn't I tell these guys also to go there? Hmm. Well. Okay, I need these three to go down and to start attacking. It's very difficult to get through. I might have to do some form of naval invasion as well. That that might work. Um, 
We'll see. I still did get quite a lot of division. So what I could also do is take Istanbul and then retreat back to try and do the same trick to encircle them. Uh, which might seem a bit silly, but it it would work, I think. So if, if I can't cross the straight, which actually might be a thing, then I could always go for that, ultimately, um, if that would prove to be necessary. Now, I'm actually, I want to, didn't I just already research the light tank? Yeah, so I, I should be able to produce that light tank. All oh, right, this this weird thing. I'll start putting uh, three factories on that, and then also on the medium tank because I want to work my way to ac getting actual tank divisions as well. Let's put this to one. This to two. This to three. That's the two. That's the three as well. Need uh, ten factories to work on clothing at least for now, because even now this will take uh, still take three years. Uh, Twenty on this is fine. This is also good. Let's drop this down, and this will also take very long. Okay, so let's have it like this for now. Alright, I need to also keep trying to pressurize uh, some of these guys. So, this is looking quite quite nasty currently, um, but we'll, we'll work it out. So... I guess you can immediately go through here and if they want to move through and then out here that's also fine but I also need to cancel this that's just a joke okay let's go to you here mm, this attack should go fine free dockyards Uh, let's go for a destroyer. Two, sure. That's fine. If I can get additional troops, eventually I might be able to break through there. Um, but then I do need to keep alternating between them. At some point, they just simply might not have enough troops with organization there they might not keep keep switching them uh, that that might be a, a thing so I want to work on concentrated industry four as well I am training for steel right now this will also be very tricky uh, come on really you're moving troops back already I should have gotten the land lease. No. Okay. Um. It's still going okay. I'm just surprised this is... Yeah, I'm attacking with the wrong kind of unit. And you're going in there too. This is why I really hate this kind of... Well, 
way to fight with the front lines and the AI constantly trying to overrule you in that regard. Okay, can we have these three just try to cut them off there? And these guys going around, attacking through there. So you guys move in here and then attack. Well, like I said, at least I will have cut off subdivisions out there. Okay, let's send you out there. Because otherwise they won't be cut off. And of course they immediately get out there for no reason. Hmm. Okay, it seems like attacking here is absolutely zero use. Like, there's no way I can get them. So they have to move through. Just uh, attacking through here is uh, This is extremely defensible terrain, so that makes it very tricky to, to do that. And at least they're retreating back in there, which helps. Okay, so we'll at least take Istanbul then, and this attack is now also going well. Um, so now, at least let's clear the pocket. So that's a good 10 divisions and will at least help me somewhat. I have a number of additional factories for production. So let's work on five interceptors at least. And I want to get uh, three of these now. So they, they will hold out. That's fine. Um, and okay, just stop attacking and then moving. Okay, so from these I need quite a few to move and you can attack from this side no let, let's go for the RE 2001 Try to put this up to 15. Now that we have this airfield, how many can I store there? 400. That's quite a lot.
put this to 300 and okay now u100 will go here these guys will go here these 11 will go there too and these 62 will go there too i'm not producing any light bombers anymore and The other strange thing here is interceptor fighter. This is yeah, currently I'm making the RE two hundred multi roll. Yeah, sure, okay. Okay. So this is also not looking to go very well. So what I want to do indeed is I want to go back and give them more space to go back in there. I'll abandon Istanbul and basically the goal is to make them moving in here in here again so I can go for other encirclements uh, okay they can't they can't attack from there I'll just attack from this side too because otherwise that that's just gonna be an issue um, yeah, so I'm also going to move away from here. So they can again cross the river. They have four here, two here. So that's still not, not going to be a decent attack. Um, but the biggest fight has to be fought over here, I think. All right. Uh, however, that's going to be it for this episode. So we, <laughs> I guess, started to fight against Turkey. Um, they currently still have, if we take a look, yeah, 32 to 49 divisions. So quite a lot, but maybe indeed I can get them to go to the other side of the straits because otherwise it's just it's going to be very difficult to get them to uh, to cross these straits basically it's going to be near impossible to actually accomplish this so for now I want to thank you for watching do hope you enjoyed this if you did please leave a like comment or subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode Take care, see you then, and bye-bye.